Hi, Chris Matten here from PricewaterhouseCoopers reporting from the 20th anniversary Risk Minds Conference in Amsterdam. It's my great pleasure this morning to be talking to Professor Jeffrey West. Now, Jeffrey, you're an experimental physicist, you've done a lot of research in biology, but you've also been doing a lot of research recently around cities and why cities grow and why they collapse and companies and so on. Can you explain a little bit more about what all that's about? Sure, I think uh, so. One of the fascinating aspects of thinking in terms of uh, cities and companies kind of as organisms, mm -hmm. biology in some ways, is to ask the question, why is it in fact that um, cities almost always survive? They're, they're very robust and resilient and uh, it's only the rare city that truly collapses mm -hmm. and disappears. Most cities survive, whereas um, all companies eventually die. I mean, die meaning that they no longer are reporting sales. Maybe they merge and are acquired, mm -hmm. but many liquidate and so on. And the question is, what is, what is the dynamic with that? And why is it that companies are more like organisms mm -hmm. which die rather than like cities that don't? And um, the work that uh, we've been trying to do is to understand that in terms of the underlying dynamics by which uh, cities and companies operate. Mm -hmm. And there are many components to this, but I think one of the most interesting um, that pervades uh, and, and distinguishes cities from companies is, um, among others, is the question of diversity. Okay. And, um, so cities are more diverse. Cities, companies. exactly. And okay. one of the things you discover about cities, as they grow, two major things happen. One is they have increasing returns to scale. So the bigger they mm -hmm. are, the more, whatever it is, they get per capita. The higher the right. wages per capita, um, uh, the more patents they produce per capita, and so on. So, but they also have more disease per capita. But mm -hmm. anything that involves social interaction increases in a regular fashion. But among those is also the increase of diversity. That okay. is, um, the, if you look at the different kinds of jobs and different kinds of businesses, any metric that shows um, a greater granularity of business, of, of business types, you see always continually opening up. And cities in general have this extraordinary propensity to, as they grow, to becoming more and more multidimensional. Right. And what you see in businesses is a quite a contrast to that. Right. And uh, not only do you see in terms of as they grow, that uh, instead of having increasing returns to scale, which is what you might expect, and mm -hmm. kind of the image, quite the contrary, their profits per capita, so to speak, profits per sale or profits per employee, uh, tend to decrease systematically, right. and their diversity decreases. And you can kind of understand that because the uh, company, when it begins, tends to be, can be at least, uh, quite diverse and quite mm -hmm. multidimensional because it's not too sure of its product space, where the markets are going to open and mm -hmm. so on. But very quickly, of course, it has to narrow down to one what or two, key what is key is yeah, uh, yeah. in, the, in the market <coughs> spectrum. Okay. And at the same time, it has to build up a bureaucracy, obviously, mm -hmm. and needs an administration to run it and to make sure the, the bills are paid and the floors are swept, etc. And it turns out that combination of phenomena of having to narrow the dimensionality and uh, therefore be less and less diverse, and at the same time, profits per capita decreasing, even as the company is growing, makes it more and more vulnerable, ironically, as right. it gets bigger. Yeah. So that if the externalities change, if there is a change in the environment, in the business uh, um, uh, portfolio, so to speak, or in the, in the business spectrum, uh, they become more and more vulnerable. And of course, the classic case uh, is obviously something like Detroit and can come as a, as a city, uh, which has gone through hard times because the automobile industry of course, was the dominant industry. And it was too and focused it was on that one focused, industry. One right, industry, yeah, yeah. which <coughs> meant that if you mm. don't, uh, and, and the ossification coming with size, mm -hmm. this, this kind of gripped by um, uh, and the, the, the administrative aspect, squeezing out the more creative aspect, which we see across companies, uh, in the end uh, leads to extra extreme vulnerability. And that's true 
by the way, of ecosystems. Okay. I mean, we see that in ecosystems, the same thing, the loss of diversity uh, tends to lead to fragility. Right. Okay. And then, very quickly, then, this is a conference for risk managers. What do you think is the takeaway for banking uh, risk managers yes. from all of this? Well, I think it's uh, the, the takeaway message is uh, in this is it's not that maybe these ideas are so original. It's more that they can be seen in a quantitative mechanistic framework and to be seen that uh, despite the fact that each company looks unique and each situation unique, um, there's an extraordinary kind of regular set of laws, if you like, that are operating, mm -hmm. which means that, uh, so for example, one of the things that we discovered in this, which surprised us, was that if you uh, renormalize everything by inflation and by the GDP, all companies remain static in terms of their sales. Right. It's, it's kind of extraordinary. Mm. And, you know, I've been amazed at this meeting, talking, people come to talk to me um, in the risk business who said, my God, you know, I didn't never even realize that. I never that. realized that. <laughs> okay. And, you know, we <laughs> should obviously be cognizant of that. And right. I think that's kind of a no-brainer, frankly, mm -hmm. that, you know, as you're thinking of long-term risk, especially with bigger companies, but also as companies grow and move into that phase where they're going to become static mm -hmm. and therefore potentially collapse to understand what that dynamic is and that you need therefore to make some serious changes and you know it's it's a platitude but to reinvent oneself right. and to open up the dimensionality open up the diversity mm -hmm. and that's very hard to do once you're locked in right jeffrey thank you very much sure. indeed that's been most interesting pleasure